Oh, what I wanted to do was move the arm, not not the entire thing. Hello, how are you all doing? So, that sun is bright. We are getting closer to the date of Halloween. Like, we are like so close to the date of Halloween right now. I mean, like, at today, at this very day, it's the 8th of October. Like, today, I am recording this on the 8th of October, which means Tech It to Episode 5 has just come out. And here's a costume that I, that, well, my mum got it for me. It's for some Pontins thing. It's a Woody costume. Yeah, I'm probably gonna do some TikToks in that, which you may see on the 8th of October or maybe the 9th of October, I don't know when. Anyway, so with Halloween, you've gotta have some Halloween costumes. What better video to have to look at these amazing costumes with 15 Halloween costumes you won't believe exist. Maybe this one will give you some ideas. 15 Halloween costumes you won't believe exist. Oh. The Transformer car. The Transformer car? This car really catches the attention of children. No, that is cool. That is cool. Did you watch it? Wow, that's amazing. The costume represents a Transformer robot that can become a small vehicle and ride on four wheels as many times as it wants. That is brilliant. Like, some of these costumes must have taken hours to make. Like, if they're actually handmade costumes. No shit. Shifting belly. Surely, you've ever seen a movie where somebody is swallowed by shifting sand. Ah! ah, ah. No. Have you seen a shifting belly? Here you have it. This baby looks as if he was sinking in the middle of so many hairs and fatty substances. That's a Halloween costume? Okay. Some would say that he's just pregnant and that baby just wants to leave as fast as he can. Definitely a costume to be afraid of. Definitely creepy. Pex. 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 Oh, well. What could Pex be? Could oh, birds. Oh, it's the it's the from the from the is it birds? Woman, she's being attacked by a flock of crows. That is oh, no. good. Wait, wait. It's a costume and it's made so realistically that it looks like a scene from a horror movie. Kim Kardashian. Someone made a Halloween costume to make themselves look like Kim Kardashian. In 2014, Kim Kardashian broke the internet when she posed popping a bottle of champagne while resting a glass on her backside. This iconic moment cannot fail to be remembered <laughs> this Halloween. Oh my god. Oh my, I can't believe that's, oh my god, what a ha- uh, Okay. 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 Both look the same. No, not the same. The sir needs a little bit more of butt to match Kim. <laughs> Demogorgon. Oh, we got a bit of um, Stranger Things here. Sorry, it took me a while to figure it out. I'm sorry. Lucas, take out the sling. Because right in the mouth. We're going to meet face to face with the ugliest of all the monsters in Stranger Things, the Demogorgon. That is pretty ugly. Amazing costume. It's that, the same. Oh my god, that is brilliant. Oh my god, the detail of those teeth. Damn, that is brilliant. That must have taken hours to make. This not only looks terrifying, but also it has the necessary technology. I'm guessing it has like a wire that goes up here and through to the head thingy. Technology to fold its horrible pedals. The creator of this costume opens them using a system of bicycle cables and rubber bands. It's a real work of art and engineering. That is brilliant. Mick Death Note. Muck. Muck Death Note. Muck Death Note. By this picture, I'm guessing it's a clown. Why is it? But Death, but Death Note isn't a clown. Do you remember the McDonald's clown? It's ugly enough to choke you down a fright. A true monstrosity. It is a monstrosity. Uh, it's horrifying, especially when you see it as a zombie. <sighs> Ugh, zombie clowns. Ugh, this, ugh, uh, just gives me heebie jeebies. And what would happen if I combined the characteristics of the greasy clown from the burgers with those of the Death Note's demon, Ryak? It's pronounced Ryuk. Ah, okay, okay, Ryuk. Well, 
We have, as a result of this mix, the costume. That is actually kind of freaking epic. And yeah, I would definitely run away from that. I never knew Death Note had a, a scythe. Never knew that. I didn't really think Death Note classed himself as the literal Grim Reaper. I mean, it kind of makes sense. You know, they have a book called a Death Note and they write someone's name in and, ha, you're dead. But anyway, you must admit that costume is scarier than the Netflix adaptation. I mean, I think that's how it's done. I've never watched Death Note. I might watch Death Note after this video. The Ventriloquist Doll. I'll leave the freak for a brief moment to show you this kind of ventriloquist. So, is that basically someone dressing as Pinocchio? Based exclusively on makeup. This is a woman who pretends to be a ventriloquist doll, for which she not only drew her mouth as if she was a puppet, but also she painted her entire body simulating the wood grains. That is epic! Now, that is proper, proper, proper Halloween stuff. That is Halloween. That, oh my god, that is. Brilliant! Without letting any detail escape, look at her elegant manicure. It's oh. definitely one of the costumes with the best finish. Most and definitely. You, what do you think? Would you wear it for this Halloween? Man without head. Headless man. Okay. It's kind of like, you know, uh, this guy. Sorry, I've got no head. I've always wanted to try and see where it is, where that show is, and I can never find it anymore. Maybe it never existed. Where is that show? If you know where it is, Please type it down in the description in the comments, please. It's always hard to see a beheaded person. That's why this costume's one of my favorites. Here, for example, that is brilliant. carrying his head on a box. The costume is shocking at first sight, especially if the one. Hang on, so. Wow, that so that's a big box for just a small head. But it would obviously have to make sense because his body is inside the box as well one who wears it puts the face of having been really beheaded four-legged costumes i'm quite certain that these images left you with your mouth open and if you're sensitive it's likely that they have caused you a bit of stupor but it's not the only costume of this type in another city a couple of these monsters walked down the street many people couldn't help that wondering is what amazing they were. Indeed, even some fled in terror <laughs> That is amazing. The kidnapper dinosaur. A kidnapper dinosaur? A velociraptor? They like to kidnap things. I've seen predatory dinosaurs, toy dinosaurs, and even dancing dinosaurs, but I've never seen kidnapping dinosaurs. Of course, until I stumbled across this costume. Hello, 911? We have a kidnapping! Oh, wow. Big pumpkin. This gigantic costume is terrifying. Look how it waves the baby from a branch. That's a freaking tree. That's a tree pumpkin, not a big pumpkin. That, that's freaking, what's his name? The Pumpkin King. Relax, because the baby is just a doll. Obviously that everything is done with as much realism as possible. That is as brilliant. As you can see, the only drawback is that the costume does not allow you to do a lot of movement. That's because it's not an actual costume. It's an animatronic. Robo baby. At first glance, this seems. To Please t tell me, it's a baby dressed as Robocop. To be a machine worthy of Team Rocket. What's more, the whole set gives the impression that the baby is the one controlling the machine. But surprise! In truth, who operates this incredible costume is a man with a baby hanging in the middle of the robot, along with large tongs. That is amazing. I thought it was Robocop, but no. That's literally the robot that you see in, um, it's the robot that you see, is it alien versus, is it alien? Human centipede. Ah, no, no, no. I need a chocolatey for this. I need a chocolate. The creator of this costume wanted to remind everyone. I can't tell if I'm creeped out or of the displeasure one feels to watch the human centipede. I don't like human centipede. <laughs> I hate human centipede. I've never watched human centipede either. <laughs> How can I say I hate human centipede if I've never watched it? For this, she joined two mannequins and glued them to the back of her underwear. 
The only question is whether she'll spend in that position all night on Halloween. Mirror Man. Mirror Man? This is my favorite. It's a costume that consists of sticking mirrors on top of one. Moreover, That's brilliant. The invisibility effect outdoors is almost total. Do you think anyone can distinguish it in the darkness of the night? Although the design is quite simple, I can assure you that... Wait, that would basically say someone the that... They're in invisible man. ...is quite spectacular. That is amazing. Censure. Censure. These girls had no better idea than putting a cardboard... Fair enough. But do you have a censor on the back? ...on top of them simulating a mosaic that covers their supposed lack of clothes. I only hope the channel has no problems with this indecency. Wait, wait! I just got a notification from the platform. No, YouTube, please have mercy. Please don't. <laughs> what? That's it. Which one of all of these costumes is your favorite? That's it. Oh, okay. But there you have it. Those are some Halloween costumes. Some weird, some epic. What would you choose for a Halloween costume? Why don't you send a pic on Twitter? This is my Twitter, you know. So, yeah. I want to get more followers on Twitter. I, I want to be active on Twitter. I just don't know how to be active on Twitter. Anyway, like and subscribe. Goodbye. And don't forget to check out the merch. Look at all this amazing stuff. Get it now.